Oh, I love how you insist on walking alone using the paths less traveled by. Less witnesses for us, hmm? <laughs> I apologize for startling you. Usually, I don't bother you, no matter how adorably vulnerable you look. It would be too simple. It's almost as if you're asking me to take you from this world and bring you into one of our own. You may be wondering why I'm approaching you now, or perhaps you're not. Perhaps you know, considering you are the one who slipped this into my bag in the library. Does this letter look familiar, baby doll? Mm, judging by how red your face is getting, it looks more than familiar, doesn't it? Of course it does, because it belongs to you. It's in your writing. It's doused in your signature scent, and just the execution of the entire thing is so painfully you. I don't know why you even bother to sign it with your secret admirer. It's not much of a secret to me. Nothing about you is much of a secret, barring what's hidden underneath those clothes of yours, but really that will come in due time, won't it? Or perhaps it might come now, against this wall of this alley. Because you look delectable pressed up against this wall with me over you. <laughs> breathe, baby doll, breathe. You'll forget you're holding your breath if you do it for too long. I'm kidding. I promise. I apologize for acting so indecently. But you only have yourself to blame. You see... It took all of me to wait until you left to dig into my bag and see just what you had to say to me that you couldn't say to me face to face. Your delicate little love letter to me. Your attempt to be discreet was adorable. I could feel your eyes on me, always quick to look away when I looked up to take a peek at you. I could see your bright red blush from across the room, no matter how much you tried to hide it. It was strange, really. I knew from the beginning you were acting off the moment I entered the library. I had a strike of paranoia that you had learned my secret, when in reality, you were holding a secret of your own. Well, I enjoyed your attention on me. I was getting restless, not being able to watch and observe you as I usually do. I was so morbidly curious as to why. I almost gave in and was beginning to stand to walk to you when instead you did it first. I stayed still, fighting the urge to watch you. You do walk with a certain air with you. It's mesmerizing to watch. You were getting closer to me, taking the long way to the front door. I thought you were going to talk to me, confront me. I was ready. I braced myself. But no. You passed behind me, and I heard just the slightest rustle of papers. My bag was behind me, left open. <laughs> I played into your little plan perfectly, didn't I? When I finally was able to, I had to read it a few more times over. You don't know how happy you made me, baby doll. To think the person that I had spent most, if not all of my time thinking about, and following every day, felt the same way about me. Isn't that right? I'll admit, it's going to take me a few more reads to memorize every single word you wrote about me. I'm sure my favorite lines were, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I fear I have fallen in love with you. <laughs> that made me laugh. You fear that you had fallen in love with me? What could you have possibly been afraid about? <laughs> you were afraid I wasn't going to love you back. 
That's all. You silly, silly thing. You had absolutely nothing to fear in that case. Because here's my secret. I do love you back. More than I'm sure you're able to possibly imagine. I am so desperately in love with you and everything about you. I never stop thinking about you, not for a single second. Everything I do these days is for you. From how I spend my time, to what color I decide to wear, to what food I'd like to eat. Oh, baby doll, you're my absolute entire world. I would kill for you without hesitation. I haven't yet, but surely I've come close to the idiots that cross your path. Though, I will admit, I did let out some of my anger here and there. Nothing fatal but it would have left a handful of painful and ugly scars. All for you. My love for you runs deep. I'm sure you'd drown in the depths of it. I'm sure I could hide you and keep you to myself in the depths of it, never to be found by anyone. I have had hundreds of fantasies about you, about us, and how we would eventually come together. Forever. I knew from the moment that you stumbled and dropped that stack of books in the library that you were mine. The heat that coursed through my body when our hands accidentally touched when I was helping you pick up what you've dropped was almost too much to take. I thought I would burst into flames. My heart from then on has been yours. It only beats for you. Without you, there would be no need for it to keep beating. My days revolve around you and following you, making sure not only you're safe, but that no one lays a finger on what is to be mine. Now, I know for sure that you're perfect for me. I'm amazed at your timing. I was getting tired of not having you in my arms, getting tired of you alone on most days when you could be by my side instead. Getting tired of you having to talk to anyone that wasn't me. Getting tired of you doing anything that didn't include me directly. But now, all of that can change. Now, you can come home with me. You'll never leave my side. You'll never be alone. You'll never talk to anyone apart from me. You'll never do anything without me. Doesn't that sound like a dream come true? I've been preparing for this moment the moment I saw you. I've filled up the kitchen pantries with all your favorite snacks and ingredients to make your favorite foods. I filled up the closet with all the clothing you had looked at so longingly passing by them on your days of window shopping. I've filled up the living room with shelves of books that would interest you. I've decorated with your favorite flowers, your favorite artworks, I've already bought all the necessities that you use that you usually pick up when shopping. I also took it upon myself to try to mimic the style of your bedroom as well. I'm positive that everything will be to your liking. Oh, baby doll, you look overwhelmed. I know it's overwhelming learning that the one you love loves you back and on top of that is offering this picture-perfect life for you. I know. You must be thinking it's too good to be true. But I assure you, all this is real. My love for you is just as real as your love for me. <laughs> God, that's so intoxicating to say. Your love for me. Your love for me. You love me. You think about me. You dream about me. This ended better than I could imagine. Tell me you love me, won't you? I need to hear it. I want to watch your lips shape every single syllable and feel your love for me like a drug. Look me in the eyes and tell me you love me. Tell me you love me, that you think about me. That you dream about me. That you can't live without me. That you need me more than the air you breathe. 
that you'd do anything and everything for me. That you'd give up your entire life to be with me. Tell me, baby doll. Tell me. <sighs> You're shaking. Oh, I'll have you shaking more tonight, I promise. I'll make you feel oh so good. Come on. Be good for me. Tell me just how much you love me.